Hi, and welcome to my latest immigration law update video. In this video, I wanted to summarize the new Home Office electronic travel authorization scheme. So people coming to visit the United Kingdom who are non-visa nationals will soon all need to get an electronic travel authorization before they come. Just before we launch into the video, if you're interested in some of my free resources, do click on the link and I'll put the link in the description or grab your phone and scan the QR code that's on your screen. And I'll show this again at the end of the video. So an electronic travel authorization will soon be a requirement for people who do not need a visa to come to the UK. So it applies to non-visa nationals. It will give you permission to travel to the UK and it will be electronically linked to your passport. So if you are coming to the UK to visit for up to six months or for up to three months on the creative worker visa concession or you're transiting through the UK, you need an electronic travel authorization. And this is coming in in stages. So it's starting with nationals from Qatar, and they'll need an ETA from the 15th of November 2023 onwards. And they'll be able to apply from the 25th of October 2023. The next tranche of countries are the Gulf states, so Bahrain, Jordan, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi and the UAE. They'll require an ETA from the 22nd of February 2024, and they can apply from the 1st of February. You don't need to apply now, as you see, this, you, when the scheme is open for your country, then you'll be able to apply, and more nationalities are going to be added later. You don't need an ETA if you've got a British or an Irish passport or if you, have, if you have permission to live, work or study in the UK, or a visa to enter the United Kingdom. How do you apply? Well, you use the ETA app or apply on gov.uk. You can apply on behalf of others. So if you're a legal representative watching this, you might want to do this on behalf of your clients. Each traveler might get their, must get their own ETA, including children and babies. You're usually going to get a decision within three working days, but it might be quicker or further checks are needed. It might take a little bit longer. An ETA will cost only £10 per applicant. It lasts for two years, so you can use it for multiple entries. If, you're a, if your passport expires sooner, obviously you'll need to get a new ETA with the new passport. And of course, it doesn't guarantee entry to the United Kingdom. And I've put a link on the slide to the guidance. The immigration rules have now been amended to add an appendix electronic travel authorization. So the rules now have a specific appendix setting out the requirements for an electronic travel authorization. And all I've done in my slide there is set out the introduction to appendix electronic travel authorization. And there is the link to see the full immigration rules. There has been a slight amendment that's coming in. I'm recording this video on the 11th of September, 2023. And on the 7th of September, a new statement of changes was introduced to the immigration rules. And this takes effect from the 5th of October that there was a provision that you would be refused an ETA if you had an outstanding NHS debt of, of £500 or more. This is going to be removed from the immigration uh, rules. But again, it says a successful ETA application does not guarantee that the applicant will be granted permission to enter at the UK border. As such, travellers seeking permission to enter the UK who have outstanding NHS debts and who do not take the necessary steps to settle their debts in advance of travel may be refused entry at the UK border on arrival. But the specific provision that's currently in the rules in relation to this is being removed. The Home Office have also provided a fact sheet 
So that was in July 2023. So it doesn't take into account the new amendment. But if you want to go uh, uh, sort of a read through everything, just download this fact sheet. If you're an immigration representative, something to show clients who are applying to come and, and want to get an electronic travel authorization, there is this fact sheet. And I, I've just put in the slide there. It says by the end of 2024, the scheme will be a requirement worldwide for visitors who do not need a, a visa for short stays. So they, they're going to get it in for all non-visa national countries by the end of next year, including those visiting from Europe. So I hope that's helpful uh, to you. Uh, those, uh, uh, again, are the links and the QR code for other free resources and updates from me. So I'd encourage you to get hold of those. And that should be helpful to you uh, getting my updates on immigration law. And with this, as with all of my videos, do check for any changes uh, that have come into force by the time you watch this video, because as any immigration will, lawyer will tell you, the Home Office are changing the rules all of the time. But I hope that's helpful to you. Thanks for joining me.